So hi dear Aquarius, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading. For all the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from uh, January 2023 till the end of 2023. Okay, so yearly reading. So these are general energies for each month and obviously these are not going to be the detailed reading for your uh, months. But you will get an idea what is coming your way. Okay. So let's see Aquarius, your overall energy for this year, 2023, what it is going to be. I'm really sorry about the birds chirping in the background. I can't do anything about it. Okay. They're just there. Six of Swords. So moving on towards karma water, towards a beautiful future, towards a peaceful future is going to be the agenda of your uh, emotional life this year. Okay. So you will be just, okay. You will be having lots of past baggages also with you. But you will be able to successfully move on from that part of your life which was very hurtful and painful, right? And bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. So you will be in a very stable state of mind this year. In some cases you will get married or get settled as well. Let's see how your first half is going to be for 2023. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. Okay. So in January, I do see lots of clarity, lots of truth coming out, lots of clarity coming out. And this clarity, this, this truth is going to finally make you realize that you have to heal your inner child. You have to heal yourself. You have to let go of certain things, certain situation and people out of your life. Then only you will be able to enjoy pure happiness, pure bliss in your life, right? So uh, lots of truth and clarity and happiness on the way for you and lots of healing this month, 2023 January. Fab is all about taking care of your finances, your well-being and standing up for yourself. I feel like you will be in this energy of making yourself available for other people. And in that quest, you will be in this energy of uh, first of all, taking care of your finances, your looks, your job, your career. You are going to be independent and single. Most of the time, you are just going to focus on your energies uh, of financially being abundant and strong so that you can attract uh, a strong partner a financially independent partner towards you so working on yourself to attract a new person or a new situation in your love life march is all about the lovers my march is all about choices you might be getting attracted to a person or getting infatuated to a person and you will not be able to understand whether this is just a physical connection physical infatuation or this is a soulmate kind of connection so you have to got to decide might be there will be instant kind of attraction or infatuation towards somebody and you are going to un, uh, make it uh, like little confusing by putting in so much uh, pressure on your mind that what to do about the situation so it's so it's all about making wise decisions in your love life right okay april is all about having lots of choices lots of uh, people around you lots of things to do lots of things to accomplish but you will be emotionally very very confused might be you will be having emotional feelings or emotional uh, attachment with more than two people at the same time and that's confusing the shit out of you so you just have to choose very wisely right because lots of things and lots of people and lots of uh, options are confusing you okay so you have to choose very wisely when it comes to your love life when it comes to your emotional health emotional well-being so jan per march april may Two of Cups, May is uh, uh, telling me that you are going to find somebody or you are going to find well, yourself in a very balanced state of mind where your masculine energy and your feminine energy are going to be very aligned. In this case, your emotional and your logical sides are going to be very balanced and aligned and you will be able to understand what exactly you want in your life and you will be able to attract that kind of energy towards yourself, right? So in May, it's all about being in a soulmate kind of connection, attracting a soulmate towards you because you yourself will be very much uh, in your aligned to your feminine and masculine energies. Okay. And in June, I do see lots of truth and clarity coming out of you will be cutting a lot of crap out of your life. You will be getting very clear, analytical, logical, and you will be in this energy of protecting yourself from yourself from everything and anything that's hurted you in the past or that's uh, that might hurt you in the future so you will be just cutting the crap out of your life for your emotional well-being in june okay let's see how the other half of this year looks for you july august september october november and december and this is the guidance for you guys yep 
July is all about having brand new beginnings in your love life. So you will be starting a connection or restarting a connection all over again. There will be an opportunity to start a passionate kind of uh, a relationship or connection with someone. It could be very much possible that you will be in a sexual connection or physical relationship with somebody and that will be just the start of a connection. Okay. So July is like this. August is all about making wise choices, wise decisions. It, it will be like you will be very determined for something to work out in your favor. If it is not working out, you will just move on from that. So you will be very, very determined and the stars will be aligned with your energies because you will be in this uh, energy of I am going to make this work out. I am going to make this shit work out anyhow, no matter what it takes. So uh, working out means either you will be very determined to move on from, from something or you will be very determined to make something work out anyhow. So in uh, either case, you are going to put in a lot of determined energy, okay? A lot of determination and a lot of hard work and the stars are going to align, uh, are going to be aligned for you as per your energies, as per your determination. Hmm. So if you are going to choose something to do and you really, really want it to work, you will be like able to do that. Hmm. September is all about, again, King of Swords energy, lots of truth and clarity. See, whenever this energy of King of Swords or Lots of Swords comes, Aquarius, this is air energy, okay? And this is your energy only. You will be again using your logical mind, using your logical thinking, using, using your emo, like uh, analytical mind over your emotions to cut a lot of crap out of your life. But I feel like instead of what, uh, instead of, you know, just uh, over using your analytical side, over using your logical side is not going to help you. Cutting the crap is fine, cutting negative people is fine, but in this quest, you might end up being rude, cold and off and detached from lots of people or lots of situations that are actually helpful for you or actually there for your growth and happiness. So please beware of that kind of energies also. Uh, in this quest of, you know, protecting yourself, you are uh, going to end up hurting other people also. So, so just a suggestion for you, right? Okay, September, October sorry October November December is like this the last months are left so October is you are going to find yourself in a competition with other people or you might end up with a person who is already with somebody else and that's going to create a lot of competition lots of contradictions and fights and drama in your life so stay away from people who are already with somebody else okay just stay away from them yeah or if you are already with somebody do, just do not indulge in anything else or somebody else's uh, relationship or something like this just don't have extra marital affair or extra affair or something that uh, you are going to cheat on somebody. Just don't do this kind of shit. Uh, otherwise, you will end up regretting a lot. I'm telling you a lot. Okay. November is all about keeping a trap. Track. Trap. I don't know why I said trap. Keeping a trap on someone. Just gathering the knowledge. Just getting to know somebody uh, new or newish. So it's a newish kind of energy. You will start might be online dating again or online... Uh, uh, friendships again and starting to gain a lot of knowledge about a lot of people towards uh, like uh, around you okay online friendships online meetings and online calls and all this shit is going to happen for you a lot choices lots of choices will be there but again you will be using a lot of mind rather than your heart okay so that's the case again uh, by the end of december i feel you taking a charge of your life you will be charging on something without even thinking about that thing that what can be the consequences of this thing or what can be the consequences of doing anything in rush or in this uh, negative energy okay in this over analytical energy please keep that in mind that throughout the year i can see uh, especially in the second half that you are using a lot of over analytical over logical thinking in your life and you are completely ignoring the emotional part. You are completely ignoring the compassion, the gratitude, or you can say the love and emotions part. Don't do that. Just because people are hurting you, you don't have the right to hurt other people because you are hurt from inside. Just don't do that because I do see loving energies and caring energies coming around you. Might be not in the form of, you can say, lover or girlfriend or boyfriend or uh, spouse or something might be as uh, as in the form of friendships or in the form of parents or in the form of you know colleagues and uh, people are caring towards you people are loving towards you but your uh, analytical and logical mind is killing everything your rudeness and cold and off and detached behavior is killing everyone around you you know you are getting my point right so the guidance here is see be practical be mature be grounded also 
be grounded also be down to earth also and take care of your finances take care of your health and take care of the people around you just don't take care of yourself only you have to take care of the people also around you because i do see lots of people are going to help you in your emotional well being but again you are going to cut the crap or cut the shit out of them because you feel like now i don't need anyone because i am not getting a particular person or specific person i am just going to you know be very rude and cold and off towards everyone in my life don't fuck this uh, lovely connection with everyone around you <laughs> just be practical mature and grounded and stay humble stay down to earth stay kind hearted and everything is going to be fine for you once you are going to be focused on your energies instead of blaming others just start uh, blaming yourself for whatever is happening in your life and take the charge of your life be the in charge of your life and heal the shit instead of you know being cold and off heal yourself and spread the positivity and spread the happiness so thank you so much for tuning in aquarius i i hope you got your answers or i hope you got the idea how this year is going to be and god bless you see you soon in the next video namaste